Hi everyone and welcome to Unit 8, Video 1. We are going to be working on systems of equations this unit and the very first thing we're going to do is a quick review of some ways to solve a system of equations from Algebra 1 using substitution and elimination. So the first one we're going to review is substitution and substitution means we're going to be plugging things in. Okay. And in this case, because I have the y equals ready to go, that tells me I'm going to plug in 11x where this y used to be. So I start recopying the top equation and it says 6x minus, and instead of the y, I'm going to write 11x, and then it equals 5. At this point, you have the linear equation so I can combine like terms and get negative 5x equals 5 and I get x equals negative 1. But a system of equations has two variables so we need to go back up to the original and we need to solve for y and since y is 11x and now I know that x is negative 1 I get y to be negative 11 and my solution is the ordered pair, negative 1, negative 11. Okay, so that's the first basic kind of substitution. Another kind of substitution may ask you to simplify first. So here we have 3x plus 4y equals 4, and we have x minus y equals 13. I don't have a nice x equals and I don't have a nice y equals, but if I simplify this first equation or this second equation by adding y to both sides, I get x equals 13 plus y. And now that's a really nice equation to use for substitution. I'm going to take this 13 plus y and plug it in where this x was. So take this top equation, start with the 3. Instead of the x, I'm going to write 13 plus y in parentheses and then finish writing the original equation. Distributive property, using all your ways I have to solve a linear, 3 times 13 is 39 plus 3y. Keep solving. 39 combine like terms. Subtract the 39 and that's negative 35. Divide by 7 and I have y is negative 5. Again, I have to go back to the original and if x is 13 plus y, and now I know my y is negative 5. 13 plus negative 5 is 8. And so my ordered pair is 8, negative 5. So those are the examples of substitution you may have seen from Algebra 1. The other way that you solved systems in Algebra 1 was by elimination. And elimination relies on getting opposite coefficients. So we want to get opposite coefficients. That cancel or add to zero when we add. Okay, and so for this one, 5x plus 4y plus 2 equals 0. 4x minus 5y minus 23 equals 0. It's not set up to do any simplifying for substitution, but I do notice that right here my y's, I have one positive and one negative. That's good because I need opposite coefficients that add to 0. These don't add to 0 yet, so I need to do some multiplying first. And this top equation 
I want to get these coefficients to be the same, so I want to get them to be 20. And I can do that by taking this top equation and multiplying it by 5. And I have to make sure I distribute that all the way through. So I have 25x plus 20y plus 10 equals 0. Same thing for the bottom. I'm going to multiply this by 4 to get that 5 to be 20. Distribute, and I get 16x minus 20y minus 92 equals 0. Now I can go ahead and add these two equations together. And when that happens, the y's add up to be 0. And I get 41x minus 82 equals 0. And if I continue and solve for x, I get x equals 2. Same rule as before. Pick one of your favorite equations. Um, I like this top one because it's all positive and the numbers are smaller. So I have 5x plus 4y plus 2 equals 0. I now know my x is 2. And I can solve for the y. Combine terms, and I will get y to be negative 3. And again, you write this as an ordered pair, 2, negative 3. And so there's your review of elimination. You need to do some multiplying in order to get coefficients that are opposite. So when you add them together, they add up to be 0. On elimination and substitution, some of the most common mistakes are just the arithmetic and not keeping track of the positives and negatives. So your assignment is just six questions. The first three are substitution on page 484, 9, 15, 17, and then 19, 21, and 25 are elimination. Go ahead, check your answers in the back of the book. And then don't forget to log into our Schoology class and take the quiz titled Entrance Slip 1. That's in the materials section. Um, it also has one question by substitution and one by elimination. If you struggled with this in Algebra 1, you may want to come and talk to us or talk to someone in tutoring before you go on. And we will see you in class. Bring your questions there. Thanks.